I just restarted there because the screen turned off. We've got 43 batteries, so... Let's get out on this slab here. I, see, I can still kind of fish the way I want to fish. Kind of sideways. Running it in this white water. Just because you're out in the middle of the river, though, doesn't mean that there's there's gonna be fish. fish are not up, the fish are not up. There ain't nothing you can do. That cormorant's up there fishing. Couple of them around. See, I can't really, I can't leave this too long. I gotta reel this thing in pretty quick. That's the problem. Just looks like the fish are not up here because of the shallow water. The minnows didn't come up, so they're not up. And I'm gonna have to disturb this duck here because I want to fish that section down that's below down there where all those ducks are standing. Since I came all the way out here, can't let a few ducks stop me. bouncing off rocks and stuff. Anything at all in here. going on at all but what I want to try is that where that water is coming out between the rocks down there <sighs> sorry ducks right where they swim into that's that's, that's kind of where I want to try where that little bit of, of uh, rapid water is coming out down there Maybe the fish are not, maybe they didn't come up this far, but maybe they're, they're kind of staged back here a little bit. I think there's an area down here that I can walk across and it's only like a foot, a foot deep at the most to get back. I'll have to see if I can find a little path. All right, so we're gonna hit, try and shoot for the, uh, that little that water below the uh, branch right there, running through there. See if there's anything that at least came up that far. Just hoping I get a nice first, first cast hit in this spot.
There's some nice rapid and a little bit of slow section in the middle for something that would want to hang out to ambush. Start running it straight through there. Might have picked up some weeds. Looks like just a nice day out on the water today is what it's going to turn out to be. Let's try throwing a little further down, a little lower. I, I think I, I just snagged into something, I think. Maybe a carp or something that was swimming across. I think I just hit him and he pulled me for a little bit. That wasn't a bite. Not that duck just jump in and went down the jet stream. I don't know how you wake up this camera when it uh, goes to sleep. I guess I could do that. Just throwing it over the slow area and then running it through. Felt like I hit something there. There's a pack of carp down here. It can be hard to, uh, they'll eat a jig. This would be an area that you'd see carp sitting in though in this slow water far below the dam here. They'd be hanging out. Digging around. Man, if I don't get something below this this big branch here, this nice little pocket. Pretty much all I can do, I'm halfway across here. What do you do? Do you go all the way? Or do you turn back? If you're halfway across. I'm gonna try and flop it in this little slow pocket here. Might have got weeds though. Yeah. This would really be ideal if, there were, if the fish were up. And I, ha I haven't seen the egrets move very much at all. They go after the smaller fish. Any bluegill or shad or minnow, nice sized minnow, they'll grab it. I haven't seen any of them get anything. It's pretty much our last shot here, I think. I 
think there'd be something, something around. Okay, let's see what path we're going to take back. I guess we could try up on the slabs again for a minute as we go by and then start heading back to the other side. Hopefully my sandals hold up. They've taken a beating. Are they still connected? Can't tell. You get a change in the sound when you come up here from the kind of running water sound you get that rumble from the water coming down just try throwing it up here a little bit I think you get something they're biting that guy was probably fishing on him, not sitting there. Look at all those cornwins. <laughs> There's like turn the camera up a little bit. Yeah, battery's getting close. 29. Yeah, there might be 20 cormorants in that tree up there. Normally they should be fishing. It doesn't smell like fish. It's kind of a little pocket right up here. I think I might have had a little something grab it there but not all too interested because there is a little pocket right there that I can throw into and then run it across and I got snagged here There's probably some rocks over there got into a rock, it's going to be hard to get it out. Now we got it. It felt like it was a, it was a, a bird nest, the line I just pulled through. Hopefully we don't, don't get snagged again. Get re-snagged. I guess a, maybe a couple more tosses into that pocket up there. Since I, it seemed like I had something grabbed up here. I want to throw it into that, there's an obstruction there up high. Creating a little pocket.
maybe that was just a snag that I hit. The duck just standing there. Doesn't look uh, doesn't look good for the fall season on the river with this water level like this. I'm gonna go a little faster, make sure I don't get hung up. Feels like I'm hitting into something. Either a snag or it's gotta be a snag. Well, let's see if we can find a safe passage back to the shoreline. My shoe feels a little loose. I don't know if it's uh, came came loose or not. Pretty much did all we can do here. We may have had a couple little nibbles from little fish hanging around, but it just isn't uh, freezing enough water up here. Let's see if we can find a uh, crossing that isn't too deep. a little tricky walking on it if you get walking on slabs too. So far this looks okay. I just had a little dip there. See that's that's a spot that I actually fished that I just stepped into. Now I know why there's fish down here because there's a little dip right there. There's a little hole that's deeper than the rest. lose my balance and have to put my rod in the water for balance. See what kind of traction I get on this slab with the seaweed on it. And okay, now we got I know we have I know we have a dip there. So I'm gonna go have to go above this rock here. I think this is a little deeper than I was looking for. That goes down right there. I don't really want to. I didn't really want to get this deep. But this is actually another area that you, that you get them too, where I'm actually in right now. That's deeper. It's like a foot, foot or so deeper. I'm gonna use my rod tip for a little balance here. So we ended way up here. But there's some rock rocks that we can walk across here. Let's just throw it up. Throw it up in, into here a couple times. 